What's going on guys? Will Mitchell here. Today, I'm in the best place. My travel is rum. We've got some delicious rum. We're getting a, a tour of the little distillery here in Belize City. If you guys are in the city, definitely come check this out. Let's take a look. Good morning. Welcome to Travelers Liquors Heritage Museum Center. Uh, this is the home of One Barrel Rum, Belize's best rum. One of the oldest distillery here in Belize with the widest variety of products. We have 20 uh, different products, anything that you can think about. Wines, rums, creams, liqueurs, white rums, aged rum, just to name a few. Today we're gonna be uh, doing a tour with a brief history of how rum used to be made in Belize. We're gonna be walking through our famous barrel room where you can smell the actual rum aging really nice. And at the end, we're gonna do some tasting to loosen up the spirits. I hope you enjoy your time here in Belize and at our mini museum slash heritage site. Now rum is in Belize from the 1800s. To be a rum producer back then, you had to have had your own sugarcane plantation because we did not have any sugarcane industry like we do now. Once you harvest the sugarcane, this is how it looks. Now, to extract what we need to produce a rum, you would utilize a machine like this, which we refer to as a trapeze. This is the first ever sugarcane crusher, or grinder built and used throughout this part of the world, in Central America and in the Caribbean. You would have a piece of wood in here and one in here, and someone would be turning it manually with your hands and feet, like in this film, while someone else is feeding the cane. Once we get the sugarcane juice, we then boil it in cast iron pots or copper pots until it becomes thick like syrup. We then refer to that syrup as molasses, and that is the primary base for rum here in Belize and in the entire Caribbean. We have the founder of our company, Don Jaime Omario Perdomo. He passed away in 1998. However, his legend still lives on. The company is owned and managed by his wife, his children, and his grandchildren. Still 100% Belizean owned and operated, something we can be proud of. Now this is the part that you would boil the sugarcane juice. Flames would be high and you would be turning it manually for hours. Now back in the days, these were really heavy. So you had to be in shape, not like me. <laughs> Now all I do is drink. <laughs> this is an advanced trap each to that. You'd have this piece of board up here and it would be placed here serving as a helicopter propeller. If you're wealthy, you'd have a horse turning it while someone else is feeding the cane. This is one of our first spots still. Now we have changed to column still and it is stainless steel. What is fermentation? It's basically molasses blended with yeast and some water. Heat it up. What ends up in the second tank, we refer to it as fusels and tails. A wrecked rock still has the color and odor of molasses. Molasses is brown and has a stench to it. So whenever you drive past any sugar industry, you can smell a little aroma. So we continue the heating process until it ends up in the third tank. Here what we have is the heads up top and the hearts at the bottom or the product. This is what we're going to use. Welcome to our aging room or what we refer to as the barrel room where the magic takes place where we transform white rum, plain white rum into some really delicious nice aged rum. So if you look around you're going to see barrels of rum actually aging. What we do is get white rum from the distillery, pump them into the barrels at the end of the aging process, it gets some amber finish or golden color and picks up the flavoring from the barrels. We get these barrels from different distillery in Kentucky. They were used to store bourbon once and we use them to store rums twice. After that, we make furniture out of it because the barrel would tend to lose its flavor. You guys want to do some boxing? She can show you. Let's box it up. So, uno, dos, tres. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh. I'm totally fired right now. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, obviously we're now at the bar. Probably somewhere you guys would like to be. What do we got going on here, Jordan? Um, basically, these are some of our products that we make. We have a few more that I'll be pulling up in a few. Um, but we can start over here. These two are licorice, good for digestion. We have anise and peppermint and a plain white anise. Two types of cream, plain rum cream. This one is crabo cream, blended with a tropical fruit that's native to Belize. Very yellow tiny berry once it's ripe. And we also make a liqueur with it. Two types of wines, crush wine, blackberry wine. These are sweet wine, like dessert wines, after dinner wines. We have crystal light rum, we call it light because it's not too strong if you sniff it. It's um, more filtered, so the alcoholic scent, alcohol scent is very mild. But well, don't let the name fool it, it's still strong. Two types of brandy, we have a four year old and a five year old. The four is tropical brandy. The five year old is three star bar brandy, baron gin, coconut rum, fiesta rum, which is a cinnamon rum. For partying, right? Yeah, correct. And then we have three types of age rum here. One, one barrel, three barrel, five barrel. The barrel depicts the number of years age. Ten year old Don Mario to honor our founder. It's named after him. We have the 15, but the 15 is limited. Limited edition, we only bought a few to commemorate our 40 years of independence back in September. It's a nice sipping rum. It's bottled at cast strength meaning 64% alcohol, 128 proof, straight from the barrel to the bottle, not filtered, so you're picking up a lot of flavors. So, let's get to the best part, do some tasting and let's start, King. Let's do it, man. We're bringing in a uh, all-star guest today, guys. I'd like to introduce Poppy Rojo. When you see him in our office, please come up, say hi to him. Welcome him into the, uh, today's episode of Traveler's Rum. We're gonna see how drunk we can get Poppy Rojo. That was a joke. <laughs> Won't take much. Tell me, man. Coconut, we're hitting Coconut first. Coconut rum, you can just take it by sips. You don't have to drink out. Sip it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. Jordan, sip this one too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one you can really sip. It's like liquid dessert. Yeah, this is like... Over bread puddings, ice cream, jellos, coffees. It's, is this like an eggnog? Somewhat, yeah. Rum cream. Oh my god, it's fantastic. You all see this, you know your travelers, and this is where we did the whole tour. Definitely come down and check it out. And maybe ask for Jordan. I gotta give a quick shout out to Jordan. Uh, there's Michael Jordan, Jordan the country. There's Jordan Clarkson. But today we dealt with the real Jordan, the number one in my heart. Namaste.